Carbohydrates can be broken down into three main categories. Number one, you have monosaccharides. Mono means single, so these are single sugar molecules. These are things like glucose and fructose. Number two, you have disaccharides. Di means two, so these are two monosaccharides bound together. These are things like sucrose and milk sugar. And number three, you have polysaccharides. Poly means multiple, so these are multiple monosaccharides bound together. These are things like cellulose and starch. Generally speaking, polysaccharides are the healthiest because they raise blood sugar levels the slowest. Your body has to break apart all of those bonds, so that's why they raise blood sugar levels the slowest. Now, on to fructose, the topic of this video. Fructose is a monosaccharide. It's often called fruit sugar because it's naturally found in plant foods like fruit in the form of sucrose. Sucrose is one glucose and one fructose molecule bound together. Sucrose is a disaccharide. Now, fructose is a very, very interesting monosaccharide. Fructose has a glycemic index of only 20. It barely raises blood sugar levels. In comparison, glucose has a glycemic index of 100. Fructose is also the sweetest monosaccharide. It's much sweeter than glucose or galactose. That's part of the reason why food manufacturing companies love to use high fructose corn syrup, it's because it's very, very sweet. At first glance, you're probably thinking this all seems great. Fructose barely raises blood sugar levels. It's the sweetest naturally occurring carbohydrate. What's not to like about fructose? The problem with fructose is that it can only be metabolized by your liver. And your liver has a glycogen storage capacity of only around 50 grams. Once you consume any fructose past that, it has to be stored as body fat because there's nowhere else to go. It's kind of like you got this bucket, right? Your liver has a glycogen storage capacity of 50 grams. Once you fill up that bucket past 50 grams, any additional fructose is going to automatically be stored as body fat because there's nowhere else to go. Another thing about fructose is fructose is metabolized the exact same way your body metabolizes alcohol. It's a poison. Fructose can cause the same side effects as alcohol, like insulin resistance, fatty liver disease. Fructose is poison. It's not good for you in any way. Now, should you fear fruit? Absolutely not. So beside me, I have a bag of organic wild blueberries. I could use any fruit. I'm just using blueberries as an example because I like blueberries and I eat them often. So one cup of blueberries, if you're looking at the nutrition facts here, has 80 calories, one gram of fat, one gram of protein, and 17 grams of carbohydrates. Of those 17 grams of carbohydrates, 12 grams are sugar. As a general rule, about 40% of the sugar in fruit is fructose. So one cup of frozen blueberries has four grams of fructose. As you can see, that's pretty much negligible. I would have to eat that entire bag in one sitting for there to be enough fructose for it to actually cause a problem. The problem is, is the massive sugar consumption. Because sugar, sucrose, is one glucose and one fructose molecule bound together. It's 50% fructose. It's estimated that the average American consumes 22 grams of sugar, 22 teaspoons of sugar, sorry, per day. The average child in America, it's estimated consumes 32 teaspoons of sugar per day. And that's just sugar. That doesn't take into account high fructose corn syrup. As you can see, it's that massive fructose consumption that's what's causing the obesity epidemic. So the take home point of this video is fruit. You don't need to fear fruit. Fruit is perfectly fine as long as you're consuming the whole unprocessed fruit. I'm talking eating a whole apple, eating berries, eating a banana, whatever. However, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, fruit juice, which just has just as much sugar in it as pop, by the way, go, go to the grocery store, look at a can of pop, look at a can of fruit juice, they have the exact same amount of sugar, those should be avoided because fructose is a poison.